Hey everyone, this is Dylan here, and today I'm going to be going over fungi. So in the micro lab, this is generally differentiated between yeast and molds. Yeast are going to be unicellular, and they're going to exhibit budding, and that's how they asexually reproduce. When you see yeast in a gram stain, which is how you could see it if you're working up a specimen, it's going to be gram positive, and once again, look out for that budding. And if you see it on culture media, it's going to have a distinct appearance, uh, but if you're not sure if it is yeast, then you can always do a wet mount to differentiate between yeast or bacteria. Mold, on the other hand, is going to be multicellular and it's going to exhibit hyphae. You generally don't see it on a specimen gram stain. And uh, if you look at it on culture media, obviously you know straight away that it's a mold. Um, and you actually identify it by doing something called a lactophenol cotton blue slide. And that's how you're going to visualize the structures. For example, the macro or micro conidia and the hyphae of the mold, and that'll give you an identification. And there is one exception to this, you know, whole delineation between molds and yeast, and that's going to, to be uh, dimorphs. So these are thermally dimorphic fungi, and what that means is they actually change from one form to another depending on the temperature. So generally it works out that if you're at 25 degrees, you'll see the mold form, and if you're at 35 degrees, you're going to see the yeast form. So only certain species can exhibit this characteristic, and they include sporothrix, coxioides, blisto, uh, blastomyces, and histoplasma. Um, so that, that is something to be on the lookout for, is that certain species can actually exhibit a mold or a yeast form, depending on the temperature. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you know more about fungi now, and I'll see you next time.